Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a self-portrait. Now this is called a caricature, which means that it's not realistic, but it's got certain characteristics about yourself that makes it look like you. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put two fingers at the top, draw me a dot. From the dot, I'm going to draw a pretty good size oval. I come down to the bottom and draw one little straight line, slightly curved line over, straight line down. Come on the left, curve line out, in, connect. On the right, curve line out, in, connect. Now I don't want my head floating off into outer space, so I come down to this section and I draw a curve line down off the page on the left and a curve line down off the page on the right. Now this is just your basic self-portrait face and body. Now I'm going to start adding the characteristics that make it unique to me. I'll use myself as a model. The first thing I'm going to do is draw curve line all the way down and around a little artist beret because I am an artist. And I have really short hair so I'm going to just put some little wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines and I wear big earrings so I'm going to go loop and a loop inside, loop and a loop inside. Now I come to my eyes and I'm going to draw one, two ovals. I'm going to put a little curve line, little curve line inside and one, two, three, four, five straight lines, one, two, three, four, five straight lines. I'm going to put a little upturned nose and I'm happy to be here so smile with some little cheek lines. Now I'm ready to color. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is color in this section of my eyes black and make sure you do this section. If you do the opposite section that's left white your eyes look kind of strange. Then, if you're lucky enough to have multicultural crayons, you can do your skin tone. I'm doing mine peach. And I'm doing this with marker because I want that pop of color. So I can do my little artist beret red, do my earrings yellow, my shirt blue, and a lot of times I don't color in solid. I use stripes to give the illusion of a solid color. And the last thing I like to do is put in a background. And I'm just going to do my normal stripes that I like to do. Just to add another little bit of color. And now we're ready for the finished. This is my finished colored in self-portrait. No, it's not an exact replica of me, but it looks enough like me that if somebody saw it, they would say, hey, that's the art teacher. Before I continue, we're not done yet, I want to show you some different ways of drawing your faces. Okay, sometimes when you draw, you want to think about the one thing about yourself that makes you you. But you can also do different expressions. You can just do a plain dot for an eye, add some eyebrows, a curved line for the nose, and a slight smile. You can do a buzz cut and make this a little boy just by adding little straight lines on top. Don't forget the little part underneath his ears. If you're a girl, 
A lot of times I get asked for ponytails, so I usually start out with a spiral, and then I do a big wavy, wavy line, and bring it back up. Add some little curls on the outside, in the inside. Don't forget the bottom. Again, you can just do regular eyes. Add some eyelashes. Little turned up nose. Happy face. And always, people want to add an open mouth. You can even add a little tongue. This is what I don't want. I don't want vampire psycho eyes. I hope you don't have a purple mohawk or tattoos and weird scars. And what I always say to the kids, if you don't want your mom and dad to see this, you shouldn't be drawing like that. Let's not do there. Let's not even go there. Okay? So there's many ways you can draw a face. Look around at cartoons and comics and books to see if there's some ideas that you can find there. Okay, bye-bye.